So in this video, we're gonna do the Dell Inspiron 17 5000 SSD and battery upgrade. So if your battery is shot in one of these computers and you wanna get it up and running again without upgrading a whole new computer, and you also can speed up the computer significantly by using an SSD. So the links to both of these products will be in the description down below, and I'd like to get started here. Now in order to do this repair, you're just gonna need a standard screwdriver kit. I'm using this kit from iFixit. And if you want to clone your SSD, meaning copy the contents of the old hard drive to the new SSD, you're going to need one of these devices, which is an SSD to USB adapter. Uh, both of these will also be linked in the description down below. So the first thing you're going to want to do is flip the laptop over and unscrew all the screws on the bottom plastic. After that, you'll want to remove the optical drive, and then you can unscrew the three little screws underneath it. Next, you can flip over the laptop to the front and begin prying the top plastic keyboard deck off from the back of the body. Then you can flip the laptop over again to the underside and gently pry away the plastic bottom until it pulls away from the rest of the frame. Now you'll just have to unscrew the screws that are holding in the battery before disconnecting the fragile ribbon cable, allowing you to bring the battery free from the rest of the computer. And now you'll have to pry that ribbon cable off of the battery to attach to the new battery. And once it's connected, the battery can be installed in the exact same place where the old battery was. You'll have to slide that cable right into the little white notch on the motherboard so that way you can reconnect the battery. After that, you can simply screw it back in to hold it in place. Now we're going to replace the hard drive with a much more modern, much faster, much more reliable SSD. So to get started, you just have to unscrew those screws holding in your hard drive. Then you'll want to carefully lift the hard drive and remove the ribbon cable that's attaching it to the motherboard. You might have to use some little tools here to kind of wiggle your way out and just be careful not to break it. So here's the hard drive. Now all you have to do is take out those little black screws that are holding it into that metal cage. And once you've done that, you can just wiggle the hard drive out of that cage and replace it with your SSD. Make sure for this particular laptop anyway, that you've got the golden pins facing up towards the plastic bit with the large pin on the top and the smaller pin on the bottom. Now you can reconnect those four little black screws to secure the solid state drive into the metal cage. And now you can reinsert the cage into the opening like shown and be sure to line up those ribbon cables properly with the little golden finger sticking out of the drive. Now we can just screw in all those screws that were holding the cage in place before we just put the plastic cover over top of all the parts. Now is a good time to check to make sure that the computer is actually working before you screw everything back in. So I'm just gonna flip it over, turn it on and hope that it boots up. And we are working, so now I'm just going to flip the computer over again, make sure the plastic cover is nice and secure in all the locations. Now we're going to screw in the three remaining screws underneath the DVD drive before reinstalling the DVD drive. After that, we can finish up all the rest of the screws on the bottom plastic, flip it over, and we should be good to go. It's also a good idea to try to pop all the plastic pieces back into place. You should hear little clicks and snaps and pops as you kind of run your fingers around the base of the keyboard deck and pop that back into the rest of the frame. And there you go, that's all there is to it. After a quick wipe down, your computer will look as good as new and now it'll run even better than new. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And for the links to information and products I used in this video, check the video description. Thanks for watching.